When people ask what makes Presbyterians different from other denominations, this is usually what I tell them. I tell them that theologically speaking, we actually have a lot in common with certain other denominations. But what makes Presbyterians distinct is the way we govern ourselves. You see, Presbyterians are a representative form of government. The U.S. government was actually modeled after the way Presbyterians do things. We elect leaders from among the congregation to oversee just about everything in the life of our church. These leaders, or elders, are people of strong character and spiritual maturity, called to discern the will of God and the mind of Jesus together. So whereas some churches have a pope and cardinals, bishops and priests, Presbyterians work in the opposite direction. We call people from among us to serve as elders, who aren't necessarily old, by the way, and they're given responsibility for things like the worship and the educational and spiritual life of the church. So at PCM, we are governed by 18 elders who serve on what's called the session. And the session is just our Presbyterian name for the church council. And from the session, some are called to serve as commissioners to the presbytery, the regional group of churches, kind of like a diocese. Our presbytery here in this part of New Jersey is called the Presbytery of the Highlands. And some representatives from the presbytery are called every other year to be part of the General Assembly, the church's highest governing body. So instead of top-down Presbyterians work from the bottom up, ensuring that each of us has a voice as we discern God's will together. We also like to say that we are a people of the book or a people of the word. And there are actually three books that guide Presbyterians and what we do. The first, of course, is the Bible. It's God's living word to us and the ultimate authority from which we hear God still speaking to the church. But there are also two other books that guide us as well. They make up the two parts of our Constitution. One is called the Book of Confessions, which includes 11 doctrinal statements from throughout the church's history. And the other, called the Book of Order, describes how we relate with one another and how we make rules and decisions for our church. The Bible, the Book of Confessions, and the Book of Order help to shape our common life and to learn not only how God has been with us in the past, but also how God will lead us into the future.